and uh, if I, you know, I'm in the right position, I want to score. But it's just another play for me. Uh, it doesn't mean a lot, but uh, I, you know, any time I can score is great. But uh, looking forward from you know what has happened since then, man, so much. Obviously, the agent doing his job, doing a fantastic job. Um, there's a guy over there named Mike Keeney, who's an American coach that is the assistant at Cooks um, in the in the Vikas Liga, the first division in Finland. We had been in touch with him over the years and saying, you know, you got to come over here and try this, blah blah blah. Um, and I was always saying, no, I, I like where I'm at. You know, I'm, I'm doing fine, and uh, I don't want to experience that at the moment. But with you know what was going on and, and being out of contract and not knowing exactly what's going on. I said, yeah, let's go. Um, and I went there right after the season with Jacksonville. Um, I was in shape. I had just been coming off of games, and um, it was uh, it was a good offer. I had a great time there, just training with some of their their players that were there at the time. And I was there about a month, but I would have come home and, and then joined them when the you know season started in uh, in February. Well, after I had um, trained with Coops, I had. Uh, we had a little break. I had uh, a chance to go see one of my best friends, Nick Merpu, who I played with previous year at the Jacksonville Armada. He said, hey, come, come to Stockholm, it's a quick flight. I said, yeah, of course, I had been planning on, uh, on going there in the off season anyways. Got to spend about a you know, week with him. Not how I imagined it, but <laughs> I saw Stockholm, so that was good. I had breakfast on a Sunday morning and I had felt in my lower back, you know, when you, you do too many weights and your back's kind of sore, you need to roll it out with one of the rollers. And we had plans to go, I think at the time, to go to the grocery store to get some stuff for dinner, just him and I. And I said to Nick, hey, you know, you, it's not far, you go run out and I'll stay here. I just need to roll out my back. It's bugging me a bit. Um, and over the next course of 30 minutes, I had pain go up, up my back into my arms and just kind of go numb in a lot of places and I thought oh, this isn't great so I called Nick and said hey you gotta come back this isn't right I need you to take me to the hospital. So it was a very severe situation but we had no idea when he called and said hey I wasn't feeling good and I wasn't getting um, shortness of breath I had no idea whether he was inwardly struggling with um, situations there that were emotionally physically driven or just physically driven and as the interaction turned out, this was all so much more severe than anything we had possibly thought of. 